Hello. Hello. We were looking for you. How are you doing? Pretty good. Yourself? I'm doing good. We are just stopping That's by great. the neighborhood. I'm leaving, sharing a thought from the Bible, and I have this magazine, and it talks about what does the future hold. Is that for me? Are you sure? Is this Jehovah Witness? Yes. Yes, this is King Selassie. Who is that? 237th King of Israel. The Messiah. The Christ. Yes, it's of Nazareth to return in this time. The line of David. Hmm. You know the promise that was given to David? Who is that? This is Rastafari. Haile Selassie. King of Ethiopia. I've never heard of him. Yes. Well, you've heard of Jesus Christ? Yes. Do you know what Jesus is, stands for? Yeah. He's our Christ, the Messiah. He's going to rule in heaven. And the name Jesus, do you know where that comes from? No. Where does it come from? Have you ever heard the word Yahshua? Yes, I'm pretty sure. So, MJ, come here. Yahshua is the name of the Christ. Uh, the Christ name was Joshua. Salvation was of the Lord. It, you know, Jesus is a nickname. And, you know, the Hebrew language didn't use the letter J. Mm -hmm. So they used Y. So it would have been yeah. pronounced Yeshua, mm -hmm. which is today, which is Joshua. And so you know of the proclamation of the coming of the Christ. Yes. The second coming. What is called, this is referred to as the second coming. And in most of these uh, congregations observe this and wait for this day. Well, this day has been fulfilled. King Selassie has come and fulfilled the prophecy written by St. John in Revelation. The conquering lion of Judah. The Christ being of the tribe of Judah. Are you aware? No. Because the prophecy is the promise, the covenant was given to David. King David, you know King David? Mm -hmm. David, Solomon's father. And so David, being a righteous leader, was promised the throne forevermore. And this promise was fulfilled not only through the Christ, Yeshus of Nazareth, yet through Haile Selassie. Because Haile Selassie is of the tribe of Judah an indirect line of the Christ, or in the direct line of David, rather, in the same tribe as the Christ. And so when Solomon, who is the son of David, uh, met uh, Sheba, do you remember that story? Bathsheba, yes. Okay, Bath, uh, not Bathsheba. Bathsheba was David. Mm -hmm. But Sheba uh, is actually Makeda. And Queen Makeda of Ethiopia was known as Queen Sheba because the land was known as Sheba. And if you go to the story from Kings, it will tell you about the encounter of King Solomon and of what Sheba, mm -hmm. Queen Makeda. And they had offspring, the son of named Menelik. And Menelik was given the authority the power, that was the line. The line went through Menelik because Solomon's son, Rehoboam, had lost the crown. Solomon had sinned. Solomon had broken the kingdom because of his sin. He began to worship pagan idol uh, gods through his wives. A question? Yes. You're Christian, I assume. I follow the Christ. Yes. Yeah. Is it okay if I come back another time? And maybe we can set a day and a time? Well, I talk to the Jehovah's when they come through. Yeah. And, and you know, you're not the only one. Yes, I know. So I'm sure well, I, other people will come. Yeah. Well, do they, they come often, like every week? Or is it just when we stop by and go out in the ministry? They, they come, like, probably once every other month somebody comes so I try to, oh, to see you to try to speak to them about it the feast okay. of the weeks is called Pentecost mm -hmm. that's the 50th day after 
uh, the Passover, which is celebrated uh, this week, upcoming week, in two days, so you guys know. This is a celebration. There's three feasts during the year, three main feasts. Passover, the Feast of the Tabernacles, and the Feast of the Weeks, known as the Feast of the Harvest, or First Fruits. 